What's going on, everyone? It's your boy Rocket the Next Tech Jug, and welcome to the NBA Moon Guys quarterfinals, where we will be taking on Lottie God, aka Orin. Uh, if you guys know me and Orin, I cannot beat this guy, whatever I do, especially in the Ubers format. Well, we have only faced in the Ubers format. I am 0 and 6 or 0 and 7 against this guy, and uh, he finished the league with a 9 and 1 record. I'm pretty sure. And uh, his team's very scary. His team was very hard to prep for in this week. Um, I'm hoping to do my best this time around and hopefully pick up a win, but I got to really play the best I can. I think I built the best possible team that I could. Uh, so, we're just going to do that. But, you know, if I go down, at least I'm going to go down fighting here. I know for a fact that Orange is going to beat me, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to give him the best fight that I possibly can. But yeah, if you guys are new here, definitely like the video. Subscribe if you are new. Join the Fish Rocker crew today because you really want to get through. So with that being said, here we go. Oh. He brought the T-Tar. Interesting. What did he not bring? He didn't bring Corviknight. Okay, that I can deal with. I'm very surprised to see Mega Tyranitar, honestly. I, I don't know if Mega Tyranitar made a lot of sense against my team, but I, I, I don't, I'll be fine with this, to be honest. Alright, so let's think about what he can lead here, lead here with. I don't think he just raw leads with the Deoxys attack. I feel he needs to get, get that in by something. Uh, he could lead off with the Quilladin. Possibly he could also lead off with the Orion. There's a decent chance he might lead off with the Tyranitar. I think I'm going to make a safe middle ground play, and I'm going to actually lead off with my Mirror B. And in comes the Tyranitar. Okay, that's fine with me. That's a safe. So I really, uh, I really want to leave with Dracovish right there. But, uh, this is fine with me. So, Mega Tyranitar. Stealth Rock setting versus my uh, Ludicolo. I live any one hit, and then get a pretty good Focus Blast off right here. Way out speed it, though, is a question. Uh, if he's not running a ton of speed, I do. I'm going to risk it. Crunch, okay. No, oh, Adrag Roa. So he didn't even do that. So. 66 to 79. So that it's 72%. So that was a really good roll. So now if he megas here, 27 to 32. I should pretty much kill this thing. Awesome! Alright, we got T Tar out of the way. That's good. That means no rain. Alright, so that means sand is no longer an issue. Sand is no longer going to be a problem. Now we just have to deal with... That Ar Arceus Ghost. He isn't going to the Axis. So now I need to make a decision here. If he actually tries to ice beam me here, I, sh I actually live. If he tries, if he goes to the cycle boost, he'll, he'll get to me. I mean, if he goes to the fighting move too, I'm gonna take a big risk here. I'm gonna knock off here. Now he's gonna superpower, so he is physical. I'm 
My dark ride does live this, unless he's adamant. Oh, I want a nasty plot so bad. You guys have no idea. My dark holes. He snug. There's a 25%. I don't know where my bison. Because I need to keep this thing as heavy as po heavy as possible. Signal beam, okay. I'm gonna sub. I'm gonna sub here. Just because he tries to stay in, go for a toxic here. Okay. Wow. Alright, so I should be able to go into Vish now. Oh my god, come on! Oh my god! Can this Quilladin just die? Oh, of course. Die, Quilladin! My god! Oh! This Quilladin's so stupid and annoying. Can I get a crit? Thank you! Alright, Quilladin's gone, but Spikes are here to stay now. Wait, I just realized- I, I just lost. I just realized something. Uh, I don't have rain. Oh, I lose. Yeah, I lose now. There's no way I win. There's no way I win. Oh, I just realized that- why am I so stupid? Why am I so stupid? I threw. I threw by letting, um... <sighs> Why am I so dumb? Ugh. I'm so dumb, man! What are ends? Yeah, he lost nothing doing that. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. Extreme speed. Oh, I lived! Well, there's no chance I win now. I'm gonna go for a focus blast. And that just rubbed salt in the wound. New Ashuk pack defog. New Ashuk. Oh my god! Come on! Yeah, 
If he sub, he wins. If he sub, yeah. I gotta go for Hurricane, hopefully get Confusions. Okay, going for that was a smart play. Please get the confusion. GG, I lose to you again. I already knew I was going to lose this match. Ugh, it's so frustrating, man. I just had nothing for his team. It was also just so frustrating that Quilladin kept not dying. Like, it's so annoying. I understand, Lottie, you said I had a chance to win, but my chance to win was super slim. Like, th this theme was just so hard to prep for. Just like your your top, your Ubers just were so impossible for me to switch into. And, you know, I got no one else to blame for myself. You know, I didn't, you know, draft really good resist or draft anything that can help deal with null typing and stuff like that. You know, that's completely on me. I can't really be mad about myself, but you know what? This team was a lot of fun. We actually had a lot of good stuff with this team, and uh, we were able to do a lot. Um, uh, do a lot. So the only chance I think we would have had to make it back out in this matchup was probably if I swapped out there, and probably probably would have sacked either. Probably would have sacked Seismitoad because Seismitoad wouldn't have been able to do much for this matchup. Then I go into uh, Darkrai, bluff that I'm Scarfed, and then just go from there, possibly. So, I mean, if I also put Defog on Zapdos, what I would have done is I sap that, go into my Zapdos, Defog away those. Uh, one of the other bigger uh, bonehead moves I made was just sacking off my Bison, uh, my Kyogre. I really should have counted that damage from... Uh, Kyogre, just to see what it would have done to me. Um, that's my own fault right there as well. So I definitely made, made some misplays in this matchup. Uh, probably should have went with a little more bulkier Kyogre spread like I wanted to. I should have put Toxic on that set. Sub-Toxic would have been really clutch and I think could have actually helped us win that game right there. Um, the Sub-Toxic protects that. I actually really wanted to go with that set. And you know what I did? I fucking that's not, didn't go with it. I should have just went with it. If I went with it, I would have been able to beat the Kyogre 1v1 unless it had rest, and I would have been able to handle it perfectly fine. But no, I made the bonehead move of not doing that and sticking with that, and uh, I got no one else to blame but myself. I really have no one else to blame for myself. But uh, That's it for us, guys. We choke away another playoff game to Oren, and now we go 0-7 and 0-8 and and against the guy. And then... Uh, I don't know what else I need to do to face this guy. It's not that Orange like a person I don't like playing. He's a really good player. He's really, you know, one of the best Ubers in the Ubers format, you know. So it's always good to face people that like, you know, like playing in their format and stuff like that. So again, if anyone is also wondering, I have no no bad disrespects to Orin. He's actually a really cool guy. He's pretty chilled, pretty laid back. And you know what? He's actually been a part of a Moon Guys mod team now, so He's overall a really great guy, and if you think I'm getting mad at him, no, I'm just mad about the game. Uh, I have no hard feelings for Oren. This was just one of those matchups where it was just such a bad matchup for me. I, I would have to have played so offensive, so like this and that, you know. And, you know, looking back, I think I still would have lost this matchup, but I would have liked to have made different plays and brought the sets I would have done just to see what would have happened, you know. So... 
it's just one of those things, man. And you know what? It, it happens. You know, that's going to happen. It's uh, going to be one of those times it happens there, and you just got to live with it, you know? So, yeah, that's all I can really say about that right now. So, uh, I got no hard – like I said, no hard feelings to Oren. It's just one of these games where it just sucks when your matchup's so bad for so many Pokemon, and then it's just – almost impossible to win a game when your team's not as good as it should be. But, again, and also that's part on me for the drafting. That's how it was. So, I'm not going to keep rambling on here, but GG's to Oren. He did really, really good. Uh, he's definitely going to be one of my picks to definitely win the whole thing here going into the playoffs. Um, hopefully, he gets to face off against Liv, uh, Olivia Sama, which actually is in our league, by the way. So, shout-outs to Liv. Um, but hopefully he gets to face her because she is the queen of Ubers, and I would like to see him take on the absolute best in the format. So I would love to see a really hype match like that. But uh, GG's to Oren, and thank you also for watching. Thank you for supporting the season. Uh, definitely going to have a draft recap video and going over what, what how the team was overall and overall my thought about how I went with this team and kind of overall how the season went. So, yeah, GG's again to Oren. I'll see you guys next time. And until next time, guys, peace.